Who remembers this quirk of iOS 4? What's up guys, it is I the Apple Buyer here today and I'm back with a brand new video for you all. And today we're doing a video with the iPhone 3GS. This is obviously my 3GS here, it's not in focus, I got the AEF lock going on there. Uh, it is a 3GS, it is 32 gigabytes, and you can read the model name there. If you'd like, it is a 3G of the S. And obviously by the title, you are here to see how to downgrade if my focus wants to work. There we go, well... Oh, my focus. Anyway, you are here to see uh, how to downgrade the iPhone 3GS to iOS 4.1. This is fully untethered, and it's extremely easy. I was surprised by how easy this jailbreak was. And I'll prove to you guys that it is running iOS 4. I mean, just looking at that, at that sexy iOS 4 home screen there, you can just see it's already running iOS 4, but just, just to prove it to you guys here, let me turn on the brightness, that way you guys can see the screen. Um, it is right there, iOS 4.1, let me focus in, you can see right there, 4.1, and I would show you the, the software update screen, but, you know, iOS 4 doesn't have that. Now that I have proven to you guys that this iPhone 3GS here is running iOS 4.1 before the video even starts, I'm going to re-update this iPhone 3GS to iOS 6.1.6, .6. just that way I can show you guys that I jumped from 4.1 to 6.16, or 6.1.6, I don't know why I'm saying the word dot, and then back down to 4.1 again. Okay guys, so the phone is done updating, it is on iOS 6.1.6 .6 right now. And I have not turned the phone on. I mean, it is on right now, but I mean, you know what I mean by so I'm going to unlock it. And you see right there, there's a whole, yay, your iPhone was restored, yada, 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 yada. So let's continue. Oh, I got to connect to Wi-Fi. Whoops, one sec. All right, so it is done being set up. So start using iPhone. Yeah, boy, look at that iOS 6 there. So obviously it is back on iOS 6. And I'll just prove that to you right here if you still don't believe me. 6.1.6 .6, let it focus and then here's a software update screen if you'd like to see that too so it is on 6.1.6 .6, and this is the same iPhone and you can see that as a 3GS also if you don't believe me but just look at the scratches at the beginning of the video and that and, and at the end you can see right there is the same iPhone this is 100% legit I just I don't know why I'm making that so clear. It's just that, you know, I don't want people to be like, oh, this this could be fake. No, this is 100% legit. Now, most of you will probably be on iOS 6 or if for whatever reason you're on some other, where, other firmware than whatever, but you're probably on iOS 6 with your 3GS. So, you're probably wondering, okay, how, how do I downgrade, Lucas? How do I downgrade? So, we're going to switch over to the computer here because you will need two things. Two very, very simple things. Trust me, guys. It's, it's, it's really easy. You're going to want iTunes, which I'm pretty sure everyone has. If you don't have iTunes, I'd recommend going to Apple.com and downloading it. And then also you will need iReb here, which is a... Oops. Whoops. Which basically is a, a tool to help downgrade devices. It's literally all you need for this phone. And uh, this using iReb is like literally the easiest thing. All you have to do here is just go to the second tab, press that button, and bam, it does everything for you. So if you're thinking, oh crap, this is going to be hard, he's bringing in all these different tools. Trust me, guys, it's just two buttons you have to press, or three if you count watching the app. Launching iReb, then clicking this, then clicking that, and you're done. Also, just a little disclaimer about iReb, uh, it does cause your virus protection to go off, or at least it makes my virus protection go off. So before you start downloading it, and don't worry, I'm going to link iReb down in the, um, in the description, make sure you turn off your virus protection. I promise that it's not a virus you, you saw on my computer right here. It is 100% legit, and you'll see it work in the video too. So go ahead, shut off your virus protection, download it. And I'd recommend keeping it off until you're done downgrading. That way, Windows might not delete it while you're like in the process or something like that, because that would suck. 
So with that all being said, let's start the downgrade process. So the first place you want to go to is this place, ipsw.me. I'll link the website down below. Don't worry. Oh yeah, I did I did forget to mention ipsw.me. This is another thing you need. It's just the firmware version, so that way you have something to downgrade with. So you want to go to iPhone and then scroll down to 3GS. Where is 3GS? There it is. And then you'll see both these two green things here. That just means that these are the only two versions of iOS for the 3GS that is being signed by Apple. I won't get too far into it, but basically these are the two versions of iOS that down, that Apple will officially let you downgrade to. So you want to don't click the 6.1.6 one, choose the 4.1 since this is what you want to be downgrading to. So go ahead, click that, let it download. I already have it downloaded, but don't worry. And it will most likely come up in your Windows Explorer under downloads like mine is right there. So once it's downloaded, go ahead, you can pause the video and download it and then start back up again. After that, you want to go to iTunes. And this is where things get a little bit more complicated, but really it's not much harder. All right, so you got your 3GS sitting there doing doing its little thing, and you got iTunes just sitting there doing its own thing, not connected by the way. And you got your little your little cable here. You got your little cable over there. So what you want to do is is basically take your 3GS. So here I'm gonna just plug this in right here. Plug it in. Let it let it connect to iTunes. Let it do its thing. Let iTunes do its little jazz. You know how it likes to sync up and be all nice to the 3GS, be like, oh, you're home. So here it is right here, yada, yada, yada. Uh, just the good stuff that you see on uh, iTunes. And this is where things get a little bit wonky. So just pretend that you're on this screen here. And then you got your 3GS, and we're going to put it in a Pond DFU. I don't know if it's technically Pond DFU, but it's basically the DFU mode where it's um, a black screen. I'm pretty sure that's Pond DFU mode, even though we're not using um, Red Snow. We're just purely doing this off of iTunes. So, by the way, uh, th this is probably the hardest part of the video. So, what you want to do is, is have the phone running. So, go ahead and lock it. doesn't really matter. Let me focus. Ooh automatic downloads hmm cancel anyway so basically what you want to do is is take the phone uh, shut it down I believe and let it shut down let it do its thing let it do its thing yeah let's go let's go I always thought iOS 6 shuts down faster, but I guess not on the 3GS. Whatever. Usually it doesn't take this long. But anyway, okay. Now it's plugged in, or it's still plugged into the computer. iTunes said bye bye to it. It's no longer home. It, it left the face of the planet. So you got your phone here. Shut down. Still. Press the home button. And what you want to do is, is hold the power button and the home button for 10 seconds. Just count. I'll count along with you. Don't worry. So here we go in 3, 2, 1. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'll see that. After it does that, just hold the home button, let it do its little jig, and eventually iTunes is gonna say something. There. You're in the pawn DFU state and I need to move my camera around because this is a really awkward position I'm in. You see the 3GS there, it has a black screen, but it is on, trust me, and I don't know why my lighting is doing that weird thing. And yeah, you got your 3GS there and Pawn DFU and iTunes is being like, oh, you got to restore your iPhone. So, so far, so good. And what you want to do from here is click OK, then go to restore iPhone, but don't click restore iPhone. Uh, if you're a Windows user, use Shift for Mac, whatever the equivalent of Shift is on Mac, do that. So Shift Restore. And then, of course, if you're not in the download section, make sure you go to the download section or wherever you uh, put the IPSW at. And click on that, open, and then, of course, restore. And it'll take you through the process, like beauty. So from here, it might take a while. It took like about 20-ish minutes for me, I believe. It takes a decent amount of time, so I'm probably just going to time lapse it, although the time lapse is going to look really ugly. but whatever right who cares so 
I'm going to time lapse the whole downgrade process. I'll try to find a spot to keep the phone at, but I don't know where to put the phone. So I'll just let it restore to iOS 4.1. Okay, so as you can see there, the iPhone 3GS is most definitely in a DFU state right now, or whatever, DFU mode, whatever that's called. It's going to be on that screen, and then you'll see an error code on iTunes saying this, yada yada yada, could not be restored, yada yada yada, 1015. If you have a 1015 error code, you are good to go. That is a good thing. Do not click OK. Don't click anything. Trust me, I tried this many times before making this video. And believe me, if you press OK and do other stuff, it will not work at all. So just take my word for it. Leave everything alone because this is where the most crucial part of it is or else you'll have to restart entirely. So you got your 3GS sitting here all pretty on DFU mode. You got your iTunes there. So this is where... Um, What's that one thing called? Um, oh, let me see. Dang, I can't get to my home screen. Okay, there we go. So this is where you want to launch iReb. So go ahead and launch iReb from here. And then you got your beautiful iReb. And then press this. And here, let me... Can I show you guys this? I want to hold this up next to you. You got your 3GS here. This is such an awkward position, guys. So you got your 3GS here. Click Set Auto Boot. Let it do its little jig. It's doing its thing. And it should boot up. I'm just going to give it a few seconds because it'll take a few seconds. If it boots into DFU mode, then I'm going to be pissed. All right, it seems to be booting up. That's a good thing. So we're just going to put the camera there. And you, you, you see all that good stuff there. Yep, it's working. It, it should come up with another loading screen. That's a good thing, so let it load again. I'm going to skip that. Though. Or wait, no, it's going by pretty fast. Yep. All right, so it should go by pretty fast, actually. And just leave everything on your computer, B. Ah, that's the thing you want to see there. So now that is the activation screen for iOS 4. So you're pretty much done from here. I mean, I'll, I'll still go through the whole process with you guys if... You guys are noobs or something. So you can close iReb and yada, yada, yada. This will go away. And then, of course, this will come up. So far, so good. And uh, set up as new iPhone. Yeah, continue. And, of course, it is going to start syncing. Right there, sync in progress. And you can see that iOS 4 thing there. And sync with iTunes, get started. And guess what? You can cancel if you'd like. So, I mean, if I can cancel it. Oh, boy. The struggles. There we go. Right. Th wow, this focus. There we go. Right there. You got iOS 4, baby. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, just so you know, small little disclaimer. Uh, I am not very good with these downgrades. I will do videos on downgrades if I figure them out and if they're super simple. But if you comment down below asking for me to do downgrade videos, I, I do read them, trust me. But I'm, I'm, I'm an extreme noob when it comes to downgrades and all these hacks and stuff. So chances are I won't be able to do it for you guys. You guys can still ask and everything. I don't really care all that much, but... Just so you all know, if you ask me, oh, can you downgrade whatever device to such and such firmware, then chances are I probably won't do it unless if a friend shows me how. Credit to Soup Snow, he was the one that told me about this. So thank you, Soup Snow, and have a good one.